As you find yourself using drafts more often, you're going to want to get better at managing your draft lists. So I'm going to go ahead into the application and tap on the draft list button. It's up here in the upper left corner. And you'll see here a listing of all the drafts that I've created recently. In general, I don't think it's a good idea to keep all of these in your inbox. Once you've dealt with one of these drafts, whether you've sent it to Evernote or made it a tweet, you, should, you want to kind of get it out of your life. So there's a couple ways to do that. First, you can go through them individually, like I've got this one on the top here. If I just swipe all the way over, I can archive that. Uh, I can also flag them if I want. I can swipe over and tap on the flag button, and that will give it the little blue-purple dot indicating that it's been flagged. If I swipe over and hit the information button, that gives me information about the draft, like where I was when I made it and what date and time it was. And sometimes if you're confused about a draft, that's actually quite useful information to you. Uh, if you want to delete an app, you just swipe the other direction and you see there's the trash button. I'll type that. And there's these filters across the top of the screen. So as I've been archiving, things have been moving there or flagged or even sent to the trash. I'll go back to the inbox now. You can also perform actions on multiple items in your inbox just by hitting the select button on the bottom left corner. And then you can either select all if you want, but I'm not going to do that. Um, you can select uh, just a couple of them and I'm going to collect a couple of them. Once I've done that, I can perform operations on them. And that's with this operations button in the lower right corner. I can send them to the trash. I can merge them into one draft, which can be useful sometimes. Once in a while, I'll work on a blog post this way where I've got two or three drafts where I've been working on things at the same time, and then I'll just merge them all into one before uh, performing an action on them. Speaking of which, you can also run actions on multiple drafts. So I have those three selected. I can click Run Action. And if I wanted to, I could save them all to Dropbox or post them to Twitter or send them as an email or even put them all into the clipboard if I wanted. Um, going back to that drafts list, looking at the top of the screen, you do have those filters I was talking about. But what I didn't say is that you can add your own custom filters. And you do that by hitting that edit button, the little pencil next to the trash. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new one by hitting the plus icon. And I'm going to call this one Archive Flag or Arc Flag, just to save space up there. And not surprisingly, this one is going to have items that are both archived and flagged. So I'll go ahead and save that filter out. And you can see there it is across the top of the screen. All right, now that we've created it, let's add a few items to it. I'll flag and then archive this first item. And then I'll do the same with these groceries. And when I go over to the arc flag uh, filter, you'll see there they are. You can also adjust the sort order of your notes at the top of the screen. You can see the default is accessed date, but you can do it by text or creation date or modified date. And there's a few other items you should be aware of for managing these drafts. As I said at the beginning of the screencast, I don't think it's a good idea to keep a bunch of them in your inbox because the idea is you perform an action on them and you want them out of your life. Drafts has the ability to automatically perform actions on drafts once you do something with them, and that can be done on a global basis here in the settings. So if I scroll down, you say, what's the default action? You can say archive it when you're done. But you can also do it on a per action basis. I'm going to go to the drafts action folder here and I'll just pick this one with the grocery list for instance. I'll slide over and then I will hit the little um, edit button and say when I'm done with it, archive it. So then I'll go back over to my drafts list and I have this one for buy gumbo. I'll go ahead and tap on that and then I will do the draft action of adding it to the grocery list. And you'll see once it's done, it disappears because it just got sent to the archive. And if I go to my archive list, buy gumbos at the top of that list. I'm actually so manic about trying to get rid of these drafts as I create them that I have a flag set on that. So if you go to the settings, you can go down here and say, show inbox count as badge. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And now when I go back out, and see the app, you see there's nine items in my inbox that I haven't dealt with yet. So I find that a nice reminder that if I have unaddressed drafts to get in there and take care of them. 
So take a few minutes to figure out how you are going to manage your drafts list. Thank you.